Shalom, royal family. The class you are about to hear is taught by the Honorable Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe, many years ago. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at www.yahweh144000.com. Also, royal family, you can enroll in classes designed for the Godhead at www.universityofyahweh.org. Enjoy. You also see, whole house of Israel, that our bones are dry and our hope is lost because we've been cut off from the knowledge of our God, Yahweh, cut off from the knowledge of our nationality, being Hebrew Israelite, cut off from our Hebrew culture, Hebrew language, Hebrew names, that our common last name is Israel. Cut off from the knowledge that we have a land through our patriarchal forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All of North Africa was given to us through them. However, I come with a greater reward because the whole earth is mine and the fullness of thereof, and all the people that are upon the earth belong to me. They're my possession. That includes you. So as my joint heirs and co-heirs, then all of this becomes yours and you're progeny forever. Now, let us go to uh, Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 27. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 27. And it says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yudhe that I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the seed of man and with the seed of beast. So now we have a promise from Yuhei Wahe that the house of Israel and the house of Judah will be sown with the seed of man. That means that we are to multiply. That the seed of man is the children. So we are going to be multiplied. As well as if we recruit, we recruit our seed, meaning those who have the same uh, spiritual qualities that we have, that are of the Godhead, the ones of the 144,000 that are chosen to rule this earth. Now let us go to Ezekiel chapter 36, verses 9 through 11. Ezekiel 36, verses 9, 10, and 11. And it says, For behold, I am for you, and I will turn unto you, and you shall be tilled and bone, and I will multiply men upon you, all the house of Israel, even all of it, and the cities shall be inhabited, and the waste shall be builded, and I will multiply upon you man and beast, and they shall increase and bring fruit, and I will settle you after your old estate and will do better unto you than at your beginning. And you shall know that I am the Lord you hate Those three verses says it all without me really having to interpret it for you. What a blessing you have at my coming. What a miracle to come to know that this is the secret meaning of Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 11. We have never understood this in our lives if we've ever read it, and for you that have read it any number of times and have even heard me teach you before, never before have I revealed these scriptures to you in relationship to uh, Ezekiel chapter 37 verses 1 through 11, as you have been blessed to receive it this week. Now let us turn to Hosea chapter 2 verse 23. That's the book of Hosea chapter 2 verse 23. Hosea 2, 23. And I will sow her unto me in the earth, and I will have mercy upon her that had not obtained mercy. And I will say to them which were not my people, Thou art my people. And they shall say, Thou art my God, Yuhei What a blessing. This is exactly the knowledge we need as dry bones. This is what will cause breath to come into you is to find out 
that you are in the process of being sold in the earth. And now, where we have been begging other nations to have mercy upon us, they don't have mercy. After 436 years in this country, other nations do not have mercy upon us. They give us something like civil rights bills, voting rights bills, affirmative action for a few years, then they turn around and now they have taken it all back. They've done this before. This is not new. Right after slavery, when we were uh, ruling in very political positions, uh, in, in Reconstruction, the Republican parties, etc., uh, we were ruling the entire South. They took it all back. This is not the first time. And uh, as long as you are not with Yahweh, it won't be the last time. You have no mercy from them. For 6,000 years of our history, we have not had mercy from other nations. All of our mercy has come from Yuhei Wahei. So here, you are understanding tonight in verse 23 that Yuhei Wahei will have mercy upon you that had not obtained mercy from anybody on this earth. And Yuhei Wahei will say to you, which were not Yuhei Wahei's people, because you were dead to the knowledge of it. Thou art my people. That's me telling you who you are. You did not know who you are until I've come to tell you who you are. You had this Bible in your home. Your parents had it. Your grandparents had it. You all went to church all of your lives. And you thought Israel was somebody else. You thought Israel was uh, other nations of people. You never dreamed you were reading about yourself. And uh, as you come into this knowledge... You will have breath in your body when you say, Oh, you are my God, you hey wahe. Thou art my God, you hey wahe. What a blessing. You have to be alive to say that. You have to be conscious to say that. Dry bones will never say, Thou art my God, you hey wahe. But you can see the suffering of our people in this land. And it's a clear result of not having a knowledge of you hey wahe. Let us go to Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 28. Jeremiah 31, verse 28. And it says, And it shall come to pass, that like as I have watched over them to pluck up and to break down and to throw down and to destroy and to afflict, so will I watch over them to build and to plant, says the Lord Yuhei Now, here is the same Yuhei who has plucked you up, broken you down, thrown you down, destroyed you, and afflicted you with evil here in America for 436 years. It is Yuhei Wahe that's doing all these things to you. Why? Because your fathers turned their backs on Yuhei Wahe and have gone after strange gods, the gods of the heathens, all round about you. And you have worshipped every god but him. For this reason, he did these things to you, as you can also find in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 15 through about verse 65. All of the curses that are upon you, because you would not obey the law, statutes, judgments, and commandments of you, Wafe, the almighty creator of the universe, your father. The first 14 verses are all about the blessings you would receive if you obey his commandments. Now let us look at uh, Jeremiah 44, verse 27. Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 27. And it says, Behold, I will watch over them for evil and not for good. And all the men of Judah that are in the land of Egypt, America, shall be consumed by the sword and by the famine until there be an end of them. This is how angry Yehoah is with you when you do not submit to him. It's very much like the flood that came and washed Noah, and, uh, all the people of Noah's day away. Our people are being destroyed throughout the land. Because they have heard me come through the land in 1984 and 85. I blew the trumpet those two years all across this country. We walked where angels were afraid to tread. We were walking.
walking throughout this land. I went on a tour personally and witnessed us bringing books through every single neighborhood among our people. And true to form, they were stiff-necked, hard-headed, rebellious people. And uh, you see the destruction as a result. Drugs have taken over and consumed them. Black on black crime. I don't need to name the problem. You know them. You live in the cities. You understand the problem. So I'm not one who spends time on problems. I come with the solution. I'm letting you know why you have the problems. Every problem you have is a result of your disobedience to the will of Yuhei Wapi and the keeping of his laws, statutes, judgments, and commandments. Let's look at Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 10. 1, verse 10. And it says, See, I have this day set over thee nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down to build and to plant, both going on at the same time, both happening at the same time. So what we're going to do is come back and take a good look at this. See, I have this day set thee, you, black man of America, the whole house of Israel, I'm here to set you over the nation and over the kingdom. It happened to you before. Without Yahweh, nations and kingdoms have been set over you. That's what you're suffering from here in America right now. Is they are over you. There's only one way they're over you. And that's because you are not obeying the laws of Yahweh. That's the only reason. That's why I can safely say to you that if you hear my voice, my people here in America, and go 50-50, strategy 1992, you will not only rule the White House, you rule over all nations and all kingdoms. Does not this White House rule over the earth? Do they not have the nations subjected to them? When I give you power over them, you have power over the rest of the earth too. So the same Yahweh who plucked you up can sow you, cause you to be sown. The same Yahweh that destroyed you can cause you to be built up. They tore you down, build you up. So you have suffered other nations and kingdoms ruling over you. You know that. And you have not known what to do to get from under their rulership. You have just done all kinds of foolish things in the sight of the world. Trying to get them to love you, to like you, to appreciate you, to respect you. And they will never respect you until you respect your own God, you hey Wahe. Because they already know from their forefathers and fathers teaching them that the so-called black man of America is the whole house of Israel going astray from their God, Yuhei And they don't have to respect you. They will never respect you until you return to your father, Yuhei So I'm going to share this great joy with you one more time. Dry bone, the valley of the dry bone, the so-called black man of America. C, you know, that's C with a comma. S-E-E -E with a comma. C, do you perceive? I want you to perceive, comprehend, understand in your mind, visualize. Can you catch the vision? C, I have this day right now as I speak to you. This day set you over the nation and over the kingdom to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build, and to plant. That's what I am doing right this minute. And you shall have this experience. All you have to do is believe on me, believe in my name, receive my name, you hey Wapay, Beit Nun, you hey Wapay, receive my father, who has the same name, you hey Wapay, ask my father, you hey Wapay, anything in my name. You hey wave bait noon you hey wave and you shall have it. I have the power to fulfill every word I said here in Jeremiah one two. You're the recipient of it. There's nothing to prevent it. All of the nations are ready to bow and worship at your feet. All of the nations of the earth are ready to lick the dust from your feet. They're ready now. 
But your hesitation, why hesitate? All right, now let us look at Jeremiah 18, 7. Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 7. And it says, At what instant I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck up and to pull down and to destroy it? If that nation against whom I have pronounced turn from their evil, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto them. That's verse 7 and 8. Jeremiah chapter 18, verses 7 and 8. Isn't that a fascinating piece of knowledge that comes from Ezekiel chapter 37? Directed to you as the dry bones who are the whole house of Israel. This prophecy is for you so-called black man of America, the whole house of Israel. I'm so excited about this. Though you have a Bible right there, I'm going to read it again just because I'm excited. This excites my genes and chromosomes. Let me say it again. At what instant? You, you know, this is not this is not for your great-grandchildren uh, or your grandchildren. This is not for your children or uh, those that are just born. This is for you. At the moment that I speak, I'm speaking this Instant, this is how fast it is. This right now, right now, as I speak, instant is an instant. As I speak it, so it is. So what's, what's, what's ready to take place at this instant? I shall speak concerning a nation. That's you. Huh? And concerning a kingdom. To pluck up, you are going to pluck up a nation. You are going to pluck up a kingdom. Isn't that something? You have also been plucked up as a nation and as a kingdom right here in America. So let's read it again. If, at what instance I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck up and to pull down and to destroy it. Now that's already happened to us. We know that's clear. That has already happened to us all over America. No one can argue this point. Verse 8, if that nation, this is all taking place in the same instant, against whom I have pronounced, turn from their evil, if all you have to do, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto you. And let's look at the next, let's look at verse 9 and 10. And at what instant I shall speak concerning a nation, and concerning a kingdom to build and to plant it. If it do evil in my sight, that it obey not my voice, then I will repent of the good, wherewith I said I would benefit them. Think about that. You have instant dichotomy. That's called an instant dichotomy. It's all up to you. But yet I'm here as a mercy to bless you. For all of that that you see as a positive and affirmative dry bone, the whole house of Israel, euphemistically spoken of as black man of America today, or African American. Uh, let us look at Jeremiah 24, 6. Jeremiah chapter 24, verse 6. And it says, For I will set mine eyes upon them for good, and I will bring them again to this land, and I will build them and not pull them down. And I will plant them and not pluck them up. That's you. you. Want to hear it another way? For I will set my eyes upon you for good. And I will bring you again to this land. And I will build you and not pull you down. And I will plant you and not pluck you up. And I will give you a heart to know me that I am the Lord. You hate what hey. And you shall be my people, and I will be your God. For you shall return unto me with your whole heart. Oh, what a blessing to know. Now, let us go on to uh, Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 11, again, and read. Then Yuhei Wabe said unto me, Son of man, these bones 
the so-called blacks of America, or the whole house of Israel. Behold, the black man of America says, our bones are dry, our brains are dry, our love is dry, our hope is lost. We've been cut off from the knowledge of our God, nationality, history, culture, language, name, land, etc. Now let us go to Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 24. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 24. And it says, Considering thou not what this people have spoken, saying, The two families which the Lord Yuhayah has chosen, he has even cast them off. Thus they have despised my people, that they should be no more a nation before them. That's what has already happened. We have been cast off, but I'm here to bring you back. Let's turn to Nehemiah, chapter 4, verses 2 through 4. Nehemiah, chapter 4, verses 2 through 4. And it says, And he spake before his brethren and the army of Samaria, and said, What do these feeble Jews? Will they fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end in a day? Will they receive or revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish which are burned? Now, Tobiah the Ammonite was by him, and he said, Even that which they build, if a fox go up, he shall even break down their stone wall. Here, O our God, you hey, Wafe, for we are despised and turn their reports upon their own heads and give them for a prey in the land of captivity and cover not their iniquity and let not their sin be blotted out from before thee for they have provoked thee to anger before the builders. Here we are in that situation today of being despised, hated, but now you understand our job is to build. Oh yes. They hate us because we are the builders, the original builders of all of civilization. They know that. In verse 6, it says, So built we the wall, and all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof, for the people had a mind to work. That's all it takes. Isn't that family? See, we're here to build the old waste. Every city. Now, the key to this in building the old waste in every city is, as I started teaching last night about construction and, and elevating, we are to control all aspects of manufacturing and production. We are to control our energy and our labor. We are to control our own wealth with our own banks. As others do, we must control every aspect of the needs in our lives. Every need. That's why America was built as it is, so that every nation could come here and set up their own little nation right here in this land and their own economy. And we've been the only people that has not done that in the last 436 years. Now let us go to Esther, chapter 3, verse 6 and verse 8. And let us read. And he sought scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone, for they had showed him the people of Mordecai, wherefore Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus, even the people of Mordecai. In verse 8, And Haman said unto King Ahasuerus, There is a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people in all the provinces of thy kingdom. And their laws, their laws, are diverse from all people. Neither keep they the king's laws. Therefore, it is not for the king's prophet to suffer them. See, that's one of the things they fear about me raising you up. Because in the law of Yuhei that's just one law for all. And the laws of Yuhei makes us superior to all. So those who are in rulership in darkness, and the prince of this world sought to cut me off from you so that you would not hear the teachings that you're hearing this moment. 
they didn't want you to know, as dry bones in the whole house of Israel, that our laws, the laws of Yuhe Wahe, are diverse and different from the laws of man. And are in fact superior to the laws of man. The laws of Yuhe Wahe are perfect. Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. They are absolutely perfect. And no matter how simple you are, they will make you wise. So, your rulers don't want you wise because they cease to have the mentality to rule over you when you are wise. So that's the whole purpose of keeping you illiterate, unlearned, and cause you to think you are learned. They give you a badge of honor called a PhD, and that's a philosopher in something, and you have no idea, no idea what that is and what that means. And that causes you to be lost. Totally lost. Absolutely lost. So, in order for you to be found, you need the knowledge that I'm giving to you here. So, dry bones of the valley, you're the whole house of Israel, and what knowledge you're getting. Greetings, royal family. Let's talk about the most prestigious private university in the universe, the University of Yahweh. It is here where students, parents, adults, and teachers study the divine mind of Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, thus elevating them to contemplate and understand the loftier concepts and principles enabling their minds to focus and think on an extraterrestrial level. This intellectual ability and unique set of skills supersede all base, mundane, and terrestrial thinking, thus allowing one's minds to open up and flourish with an overwhelming abundance of creative ideas and loftier concepts, making life and living more enjoyable. The University of Yahweh is woven deep within the fabric of the moral principles of truth, honesty, integrity, true holiness, righteousness, ethics, and justice for all. The University of Yahweh is designed for the Godhead, and this includes students, parents, adults, and the Godhead. In the University of Yahweh, the online platform, you gain a structured format to the approach of the divine mind of Yudhe Yahweh. We welcome you to visit our website at www.universityofyahweh.org. This platform is specifically designed for the Godhead and the Godhead family. The 144,000 chosen to rule in righteousness. We look forward to working with you as we prepare for rulership in righteousness. Praise Yute Wafe. Praise Yute Wafe. Beit Noon Sophie Yute Wafe. Shalom, Royal Family.